Hi guys, James here at Seekerhost. Today we're going to be adding a language selector to your WordPress website. So before we get started, if you're looking for a domain, you're looking for WordPress hosting, head on over to seekerhost.app. You're going to be able to get it much cheaper than anywhere else. All the full features, great security. So get started with that, get yourself online. And if you already have, let's get into the video and let's get this added. So just as a quick preview now, as you can see here, I've got a little selector down here on the bottom left. If I click that, I can then go to a different language. Let's say German. As soon as I click that, everything will change over pretty much instantly. As you can see, it's all changed over. And this works for a huge variety of languages. Um, this is absolutely free as well. Super easy to select super easy to change just go back to English like that um, and it can be done in a matter of minutes so let's get this added to our site of course first things first log into the back end of your website and we're going to go to WordPress and we're going to go to add new next up search for translate in your search bar and then you're going to find this translate WordPress with uh, G translate as you can see we got lots of great reviews uh, we've got 300,000 plus active installations almost 3,000 great reviews and it's still sitting on five stars so it's a really great one um, so let's just go ahead let's install now let's act um, now setting this up really does just take a matter of minutes we want to choose what languages uh, or what language we want on there let's just go ahead and activate once we chose our languages we can then just go set it up um, and tell it where we want it to show once installed let's just head over to our settings over here to the g translate and as you can see these are going to be our selectors um, what languages we want here so obviously this is going to be completely up to you i'll just leave this as default here i might just add a few once you're completely happy and you've got um you've got the languages that you want to show you can go up and you can see um how you want to display it so you want it to be a nice drop down menu with flags i like the fact that they've left nice drop down menu with flags in there you can also have it like this and also on the top right you're going to see how it's going to display you can even have a globe um, you can have lots of different ways of showing it i'm just going to uh, for now just use the nice drop down with the flags uh, start your starter language off so i'm just going to start with english of course if they want to change it they can go ahead and change now for actually showing your uh, widget here would you want it to show in the menu you can choose what menu you want if you want to add it straight to your primary menu or your footer menu um, what i like to do though is show a floating language selector so everywhere where they go where they scroll up or down go on another page it will be shown Showing. so let's just choose where to go I'm going to go on the bottom left hand side as I normally do and um, plus it will show on this video so I'm on the bottom right hand side either way you can also now go to flag size uh, flag style and you can also change the color options right here very nice little selections you can just click light or dark to just change it over like that and it will just do that instantly for you or of course you can come over and do that custom now i kid you not that is completely it let's just go to save if you are running word fence just make sure um to obviously allow this action you might be thinking you're trying to do something funny and then simply refresh the page now let's just go back to the homepage, and we should now have our language selector there it is instantly up so if we just change over to dutch let's just make sure that also works quick as that you've got yourself lots of different languages this is great if you're running a global uh, blog global news perhaps you've got a lot of other audience that you've seen for your analytics perhaps you might have a lot of indian customers coming on uh, so you might want to change it so they can read it better perhaps greek perhaps spanish it doesn't matter just add whatever you need on there check out your analytics see where they're coming from and then you can really tailor your blog to actually help them because they're going to be then spending more time on your website if they can read everything easily without having to go and translate it themselves they're obviously going to want to use this service a lot more and as you can see super quick and easy done within a few minutes uh, the selector can just be changed as easy as clicking one button and it is instant so thanks for watching guys for any more tips and tricks like this make sure to check out our youtube don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe if you haven't already to our channel we've got a ton of uh, wordpress tutorials help with domains setups and even minecraft servers if that's what you're into so thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next video bye bye